I'm Dr. John L. Cameron. I'm the Alfred Blaylock Distinguished Service Professor of Surgery at the Johns Hopkins Hospital and the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. The minimally invasive surgery has sort of dominated the general surgical area for the last probably 20 or 25 years. And each year, more and more operative procedures, more diseases are being managed uh, minimally invasively. So I think that's probably uh, the major change in general surgery. There are a lot of tumors that are being managed better. There are a lot of um, new drugs, chemotherapeutic agents, new targeted therapies. So there's progress in a broad front, but I would say minimally invasive surgery has probably dominated the field for the last at least 10, if not more years than that. Well, current surgical therapy focuses, as it, the title suggests, on therapy. There are a lot of terrific surgical textbooks. They're so large you can hardly lift them. They're long. They're detailed. There's a lot of information on pathogenesis, diagnosis, etc. And these books generally only come out every seven, eight, nine, or ten years because it takes so long to put them together. And during that time, therapy for a disease can change fairly dramatically. So current surgical therapy comes out every three years and it focuses on therapy. It, there's very little in terms of pathogenesis or diagnosis and it focuses on therapy and new changes in therapy. And one of the benefits is that the chapters change their authors every single edition. So really, if you have two or three editions, you have two or three experts' ideas, and they may differ one from the other on what current therapy is for a surgical disease. Well, I think it's basically the same book it was 30 or 33 years ago when I first started it. But every year, some chapters are deleted or combined with other chapters, and new chapters of new areas um, that have been introduced, new therapies, new diseases are added. So the book really is an evolution over the last several decades. Well, I, I think each one is just as exciting as the last one, and they are 270 or 280 new authors with new viewpoints on what current surgical therapy is for that disease. The book has uh, been particularly um, of benefit to residents, to surgeons out in private practice, to academic surgeons, because you can, the chapters are fairly brief and you can pick up a book if you are going to the operating room in the middle of the night and review whatever disease you're about to manage in the operating room in five or ten minutes by just going through a fairly brief chapter that is dedicated mostly to therapy. It certainly wasn't my idea. Like most books, it was a publisher coming to me and the publisher was an individual who had been involved um, with current therapy for many years and he decided to leave the company he was with and to start current therapy for a variety of other topics current surgical therapy, current therapy in gastroenterology, etc. And uh, he came to me and said he wanted me to do this book and revise it every two years. And I said, there's no way in the world that I could do it every two years, but I'll do it once. And if it's successful and finds a niche, I'll consider doing it every three years. And that's, that's what's happened. The first edition um, found an audience and we've done it, revised it every three years ever since.